This is the story of our mothers and grandmothers who fought to vote only 90 years ago. The fact is, it wasn't until 1920 that women gained the right to go to the polls and vote after a difficult and hard-fought battle. They wanted their voices to be heard, and on November 15, 1917, a brave group of innocent and defenseless women picketed the White House carrying signs asking for the vote. But by the end of the night, they were arrested and jailed, and eventually transferred to an abandoned workhouse located in Virginia, where many would barely survive. What unfolded is called the Night of Terror, when the warden at the workhouse ordered his guards to teach a lesson to the suffragists imprisoned there, because they dared to picket Woodrow Wilson's White House for the right to vote. Forty prison guards wielding clubs and their warden's blessing went on a rampage against the 33 women charged with obstructing sidewalk traffic. They beat Lucy Burns. They chained her hands to the cell bars above her head and left her hanging for the night, bleeding and gasping for air. They hurled Dora Lewis into a dark cell smashed her head against an iron bed, and knocked her out cold. Her cellmate, Alice Kosu, thought Lewis was dead from a heart attack. For many weeks, the women's only water came from an open pail. Their food, all of it colorless slop, was infested with worms. Additional affidavits describe the guards grabbing, dragging, beating, choking, slamming, pinching, twisting and kicking the women. When one of the leaders, Alice Paul, embarked on a hunger strike, they tied her to a chair, forced a tube down her throat, and poured liquid into her until she vomited. She was tortured like this for weeks until word was smuggled out to the press. Woodrow Wilson and his cronies tried to persuade a psychiatrist to declare Alice Paul insane so she could be permanently institutionalized. The doctor refused. Alice Paul was strong, he said, and brave. That didn't make her crazy. The doctor admonished the men. Courage in women is often mistaken for insanity, he said. This is a real depiction of the battle these women waged so that other women can pull the curtain at the polling booth and have their say. What would those women think of the female voting record now? If you think that voting is more of a burden than a privilege, if you think it's too much trouble and you don't have time, if you think that someone else should make your choices for you, maybe you should look these women in the eyes and tell them why. <laughs>